and he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. For they are a very froward generation, children in whom is no faith. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. Israelites, once you understand duality, the scriptures will become clear to you. In order to comprehend me when I say there are two messiahs, two God of Israel, two chosen people, two spirits, the Holy Ghost, which are familiar spirits, and the Holy Spirit sent by the Most High on the behalf of the Word of God. You have to be able to discern this in the scriptures in the Bible. If you choose not to read any other book and stick to the scriptures in the Bible, the only way to find the hidden truth, the Most High, the Father, have to open the sealed scriptures for you to understand. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I am not learned. For several generations, many people have read the scriptures in the Bible as it is written. They are unable to see the truth that is hiding in the scriptures. The people whose eyes are closed, they can only see contradictions in the scriptures. They are unable to see what is hiding in plain sight. The synagogue of Satan is successful in deceiving many to accept their doctrines in religion due to their inability to see what is hiding in plain sight. Although a great majority of people can read, when it comes to the scriptures, they can't comprehend the words of the Most High. The reason so many cannot understand the scriptures, the Most High has put upon his people a spirit of deep sleep and have closed their eyes. As for the prophets, the Most High have covered them as well. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and hath closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, hath he covered. In order for anyone to understand the scriptures, the Most High have to open the scriptures for you. The Israelites can read the Bible from front to back multiple times. If the Most High don't give you understanding, you won't comprehend anything that you have read in the Bible. Also, the Most High have to unseal the scriptures. Majority of people follow religious leaders and only read the scriptures suggested by their pastors. Most people's knowledge of the scriptures are limited because they only read what their pastors tell them. As a result, majority of people are unable to interpret the scriptures in the B system. The Satans created religion with various denominations and faith. One group of people will follow Paul's teachings. The other group will follow Jesus. Some people will follow Torah only. And while another group of people will follow the doctrines and traditions of men. Due to the people's lack of knowledge, they will fight amongst themselves about the correct interpretation of the scriptures. For it has been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. Now this I say, that every one of you saith, I am of Paul, and I of Apollos, and I of Cephas, and I of Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were ye baptized in the name of Paul? If the people would allow the Most High to unseal the scriptures and allow the scriptures to speak, religion wouldn't exist. Also, there wouldn't be multiple faiths and denominations in religion. The awakening is not exempt from various faiths and denominations. Each Israelite assembly have a name for the Messiah and the Father. No one can agree on the correct name. Each Israelite assembly have their own beliefs. As for the Hebrew Israelite faith, that is another denomination under Christianity. Because many people are not led by the Spirit, everyone is doing what seems right in their eyes. This is not the first time each Israelite did what was right in their own eyes. 
During the time of the judges, everyone did what they believed was right in their own eyes. In those days, there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. If the Most High, the Father, was the head and leader in every Israelite assembly, the Hebrew Israelite religion, and the various religious groups that proclaimed they served the God of Israel, everyone would be on one accord. Because the Satans are the author of confusion, they've created religion and have a variety of denominations to control everyone based on what they choose to believe. Most people don't realize that the Most High did not create religion. Salvation have nothing to do with religion. The scriptures in the Bible are not religious texts. Everything in the beast system that is rooted under the umbrella of religion comes from the kingdom of darkness and not the Most High. Israelites, your journey with the Most High is a spiritual journey. Your journey is also a personal relationship with the Father. Faith is not a one size fits all. Some people have faith as small as a mustard seed. There are people with great faith in the Most High, while there are people with no faith. They only serve the Father with their lips and their heart is far from the Most High. A person with little to no faith is going to struggle on their spiritual journey. They will also find it difficult to believe the Most High. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. A person with great faith and believe in the Most High will be more mature spiritually than a person who barely reads the scriptures or spend time in the presence of the Father. Most people who believe and fall for the doctrines from religion serve the Most High through other people. In addition, they have never had their own encounter with the Most High that would increase their faith. Abraham's first encounter with the Most High, the Father, was not identical to Jacob, his grandson's encounter with the Most High. Abraham spent a great majority of his life destroying idol gods. The scriptures in the book of Jasher said he destroyed his father's idol gods. It was said that Abraham hated the sin of idolatry. For Abraham, his son, was a righteous man and could not bear idols. Yet he paid him all due respect as being his father. And Abram came to his father's house and saw twelve gods standing there in their temples. And the anger of Abram was kindled when he saw these images in his father's house. And Abram said, As the Lord liveth, these images shall not remain in my father's house. So shall the Lord who created me do unto me, if in three days' time I do not break them all. And when Abram saw all these things, his anger was kindled against his father. And he hastened and took a hatchet in his hand and came onto the chamber of the gods. And he broke all his father's gods. Abraham had a spirit that hates idolatry, just like the Most High, the father, hates the sin of idolatry. Abraham was a man that wanted to serve the one true God. Because of his righteousness and great faith, the Most High chose to make Abraham a father to many nations. Abraham's first encounter with the Most High was first mentioned in the book of Genesis, when the Most High called Abraham to establish the everlasting covenant. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee. And make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abram departed as the Lord had spoken unto him. And Lot went with him. And Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. And Abram took Sarai his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all their substance that they had gathered and the souls that they had gotten in Haran. And they went forth to go into the land of Canaan, and into the land of Canaan they came. As you heard in the scriptures, Abraham got the call, and he trusted the voice of the Most High and decided to follow the Most High. Although Abraham was surrounded by idols, he chose to serve the Most High, the Father. When the Most High transferred the covenant, 
to Jacob, his grandson. Jacob's encounter with the God of Israel for the first time was nothing like his grandfather, Abraham. After his father, Isaac, sent him to his uncle house, Laban, to find a wife amongst his mother's family, Jacob found a place to rest. In the spirit realm, the Most High introduced himself to Jacob and said to Jacob that he was the God of Abraham and the God of his father, Isaac. The Most High proceeded to transfer the everlasting covenant he made with Abraham and Isaac to Jacob. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac. The land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, Thou shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And in thee, and in thy seed, shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest, and will bring thee again to this land. For I will not leave thee, until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. Israelites, did you notice in the scriptures the Most High introduced himself to Jacob? Despite Abraham and Isaac serving the Most High, the Father made sure to tell Jacob who he was, because during those times the people served many idols. Today in the beast system, there are many idol gods imitating the God of Israel. The Israelites and all the strangers that serve the Most High in this generation are having a difficult time identifying the Father in the beast system. Also, just because your parents serve the Most High, it doesn't mean you automatically serve the Father. You have to make that decision and choice for yourself. Religion forced the people to accept the imitation as their Lord and Savior. If they don't, they won't be saved. When the time came for the Most High to transfer the covenant to Jacob, Jacob had to decide if he wanted to serve the Most High. And Jacob vowed a vow, saying, If God will be with me, and will keep me in this way that I go, and will give me bread to eat, and raiment to put on, so that I come again to my father's house in peace. Then shall the Lord be my God. Israelites, don't let the Satans deceive you into believing because your spiritual journey is not identical to mine or someone else, you're inadequate. Trust the Most High. Lean not to your own understanding. Israelites, you heard for yourself how Abraham's journey with the Most High was not the same with Jacob. Your spiritual journey is a personal walk with you and the Most High. Your calling is tailored for you. Religion made it seem as if everyone must share similar experiences and serve the Most High the exact same way in order to receive a blessings from the Most High and be saved. Most people believe they have to go to church to receive the Holy Spirit or to be baptized. The scriptures inform us of many occasions of the people being baptized in a river. Even the word of God was baptized in a river when he was flesh. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Esaias, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair, and a leathern girdle about his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea, and all the region round about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. My personal experience with the Most High is not going to be identical with your experience with the Father. Although we share similar trials and tribulations as a people, my journey will not be identical to your journey. Israelites, you must understand that there's not a standard way for you to serve the Father. The Satans have deceived a great majority of people to believe the religious path is the only way. 
Israelites, not all of us are on the same level. Each person's journey is unique to them. That is why you must work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Some Israelites are having a difficult time understanding the words of the Most High. Most people view the scriptures in the Bible in a religious lens. Because the people have been programmed to view the scriptures through a religious perspective, also Rome have done a great job of discrediting scriptures that should have been included in the Bible, as well as making a great majority of people believe everything written in the scriptures is the truth. The Israelites and the other indigenous black people will never find and know the truth that are concealed in the scriptures. The Most High said Satan have deceived the whole world. Altering the scriptures to get you to bow down and worship him in religion is not the only way Satan deceived the people. Duality is the gateway that is leading many unto the broad road that leads to destruction. Israelites, you truly have to let the Most High guide you into all truth. The Most High said, let him renew your mind so that he can transform you. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. If you don't allow the Most High to transform you by renewing your mind, you will never understand the scriptures. The Satans will continue to deceive you with duality in the scriptures as well as in the world. The Satans have blurred the line in everything. The original people that are made in the image of the Most High don't even know their origin. They rely on the very people that is an enemy to tell them everything they want to know about history and the origin to mankind. Because the Satans did a very good job of blurring the line through duality, many Israelites are led to believe the hybrid species that I call the other species of mankind is Esau. Everything evil that has happened to them, they blame it on Esau. They completely forgot about Satan, their adversary as well as their sins. However, because the scripture said Esau is the end of the world and Jacob follows, many have accepted the twin brother to Jacob, an indigenous black man, to be the root to the hybrid man and woman. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Israelites, remember I said to you, Rome have done a phenomenal job of indoctrinating the indigenous black people into believing everything they read in the scriptures are true. Despite them knowing the scriptures are heavily altered, the Most High warned us of the heathens altering the scriptures and inserting their images. For some Israelites, they must read it in the scriptures in the Bible to believe it. Because the scriptures you just heard said, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is next. A great majority of Israelites associate the white man who runs this world with Satan is Esau. If you don't understand the world of duality, you will fall for everything that Satan's present to you in the beast system. Israelites, you must let the scriptures speak and allow the Holy Spirit to guide you into all truth. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. Before we go deep, what is duality? According to the Webster Dictionary, duality is the quality or state of having two different or opposite parts or elements. In other words, duality is the opposite of something. Some examples to help you understand The opposite of dark is light. The opposite to good is evil. The opposite to black is white. The opposite of man that was made in the image of the Most High the Father is the hybrid species of man created by the fallen watchers. I hope the example shared help you understand what duality is. Israelites, the beast system is full of duality. That is why the spirit of confusion is deceiving many in the beast culture. Israelites, Satan does the opposite to everything the Most High does. I'll give you an example. The scripture said a man shouldn't marry their mother, sister, or daughter. 
The laws of the Most High forbid this abomination. Satan, who knows the laws of the Most High, will command the people to do the opposite. In his rebellion, he will deceive the people through the idols they serve and tell a man to wed his mother, sister, and daughter. The nakedness of thy sister, the daughter of thy father, or daughter of thy mother, whether she be born at home or born abroad, even their nakedness thou shalt not uncover. That priest, therefore, kept on asking Satan while standing before the fire to teach him this evil ministry and abominable wisdom. So when Satan saw him doing his best in the service of the fire, he talked to him and said, No man can become a teacher or wise or great before me, unless he hearkens to me and goes and wed his mother, his sister, and his daughter. Israelites, one way to know if what you're doing is not of the Most High, does it violate the laws of the Most High, and is it the opposite to what the Most High the Father have said? When it comes to duality in the scriptures, Satan will use his seed to fulfill the prophecies. The alterations inserted in the scriptures by the workers of iniquity, Satan will use his followers to fulfill the alterations. The workers of iniquity will rewrite history to match the alterations. Satan will give the accomplishments of the indigenous black people to the hybrid man and woman to deceive the indigenous black people. The way Satan get his followers to do his will, Satan will insert himself into the idol gods that people serve and get them to do all kinds of abominations. Yet when Satan saw this, he entered into the idol of gold and talked to the servant like his master's father that was dead and said to him, Thou doest well thus. Satan had the ability to insert himself into the gods of wood and stone as well as the gods made of silver and gold to get the people to do his will. Remember when Satan entered Judas Iscariot and made him betray the Messiah? Do you also remember when Satan entered the serpent in the garden to deceive Eve and Adam? Then entered Satan into Judas, surnamed Iscariot, being of the number of the twelve. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Satan can even transform himself into an angel of light. He will do anything to deceive the people into doing his will through the idol gods they serve. Israelites, I hope you're starting to see why the Most High hate the sin of idolatry. The Most High said, Flee from idolatry for a reason. The beast system is overrun by idols. There are idols everywhere. Jesus is the head idol of them all. The heathens display their idols in their businesses and homes. The high level workers of iniquity display their idols in oversized statues and monuments all over the world. The various religious faith and the gods they serve are the very idol gods Satan used to deceive the masses. Because Satan had the ability to insert himself into the various idol gods, the people believe everything their gods tell them and they act on their behalf of their gods' command. As you heard in the scriptures, Satan never tells the people to do good. The Roman God convinced his followers to violently convert the world to Christianity. All who opposed, they killed. That is how Christianity became the most popular religion in the beast system. Everyone who associate themselves with Christianity don't know the truth about its evil foundation. The prince of Rome erased this truth from the beast system. Israelites, does the foundation of the Christian faith resemble the Most High the Father? Why would anyone associate the God of Israel with Christianity? Remember, the prince over Rome is Samuel, who is Satan. Every nation except the Israelite nation have a spirit of authority over them to remove them from the presence of the Most High. And he sanctified it and gathered it from amongst all the children of men. For there are many nations and many peoples, and all are his, and over all have he placed spirits in authority to lead them astray from him. When it comes to duality in the scriptures, Satan will use his followers, all who does his will to deceive the entire world. 
Who did the Satans use to gather the imposters and place them in the Middle East in 1948? Did not Satan use a Zionist organization to gather everyone that fit their qualifications and gave them the right of return? The Zionist Romans supported their Jewish counterpart and said God gave them that land. How do we verify which God gave them that land? Israelites, Satan imitates everything the Most High does. Satan imitates to replace. That is why I say imitation is not the highest form of flattery. Imitation is a disguise to replace and destroy the one being imitated. The Most High chose a specific group of people to be a light to the world. Satan selected a group of people to be the light to the world. The Most High sent a Messiah. Satan have a Messiah. The Most High sent the Holy Spirit. Satan have the Holy Ghost. When you look at Satan's imitations, although they closely resemble the words of the Most High, however, the truth will expose Satan's imitations. Let me show you how Satan used duality in the world to deceive. The Most High created his people in his image and likeness. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. Adam and Eve, the first man and woman, are the foundation and origin to the indigenous black people. Everyone knows this to be true. Despite knowing this truth, it doesn't stop the other species of mankind from depicting Adam and Eve in their images. They do this to replace the indigenous black people. The scriptures in the Bible give the origin to the other species of mankind. The fallen watchers lusted after the daughters of men. The watchers took wives from the daughters of men and created the other species of mankind. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Israelites, that is the origin to the other species of mankind that have the opposite appearance to the people that are made in the image of the Most High. Satan had the workers of iniquity remove this truth from history and ban and discredit the book of Enoch that revealed this truth. However, they kept the scriptures in the Bible in the book of Genesis revealing the same thing. The workers of iniquity believe if they call the angels sons of God, Many will mistake the angels for regular men. The foundation to the other species of mankind started with the fallen angels and the daughters of Cain. The book of Enoch gave us the depiction to the children of the fallen angels. And he said unto him, I have begotten a strange son, diverse from and unlike men, and resembling the sons of the God of heaven. And his nature is different, and he is not like us. And his eyes are as the rays of the sun, and his countenance is glorious. And it seems to me that he is not sprung from me, but from the angels. And I fear that in his days a wonder may be wrought on the earth. And now, my father, I am here to petition thee and implore thee that thou mayest go to Enoch, our father, and learn from him the truth, for his dwelling place is among the angels. And now hear me, my father, for a child has been born to my son Lamech, whose form and type are not like the type of a man. His color is whiter than snow and redder than the flower of the rose, and the hair of his head is whiter than white wool, and his eyes are like the ray of the sun, and he opened his eyes and made the whole house bright. Today, there is a large population of people who share the same appearance with the children of the fallen angels. The scriptures said the Most High created his people in his image. The scriptures didn't say the Most High made his people in the image of the angels. So many people want to turn a blind eye to this truth. There's no other explanation for the origin of the other species of mankind in the scriptures. The Nephilim begot children. The scriptures in the book of 2 Samuel reveal Goliath had a brother. The Most High sent the flood to destroy all of Cain's seed as well as the seed of Seth that rebelled with the children of Cain. The flood also killed the children of the Watchers. However, not all of the children of the Watchers were destroyed. After the flood, 
the seed of the fallen continue to exist. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. And it came to pass after this, that there was again a battle with the Philistines at Gob. Then Sebekai, the Hushathite, slew Saph, which was of the sons of the giant. And there was again a battle in Gob with the Philistines, where Elhanan, the son of Jare Oragim, a Bethlehemite, slew the brother of Goliath, the Gittite, the staff of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. And there was yet a battle in Gath, where was a man of great stature that had on every hand six fingers, and on every foot six toes, four and twenty in number. And he also was born to the giant. The Israelites, as well as many other bloodlines, encountered the seed of the fallen. Today, Satan made the world believe the seed of the fallen no longer exists. Satan concealed the seed of the fallen's origin in the beast system. The only other species of man the beast system acknowledge are the Neanderthals, which they proclaim to no longer exist. If the Neanderthals no longer exist, then the other species of mankind shouldn't have Neanderthal DNA. However, they have Neanderthal DNA. Therefore, they are Neanderthals mixed with Homo sapiens, which is similar to the mixed breed of men that came from the fallen watchers. The indigenous black people don't have Neanderthal DNA. Satan used the other species of mankind to replace the indigenous black people in this world. Remember, duality is the opposite of something. The opposite to black is white. Israelites, it's imperative that you understand this truth to understand duality. Every bloodline spoken of in the scriptures in the Bible, excluding the seed of the fallen, are black. Every bloodline spoken of in the Bible still exists until today. Cain is the only indigenous bloodline that is not in the world today. The Most High wiped his seed from the face of this world for killing Abel and not repenting. That is why Cain is not listed in the genealogy to Adam. Cain's bloodline no longer exists in the world. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them, and blessed them, and called their name Adam, in the day when they were created. And Adam lived an hundred and thirty years, and begat a son in his own likeness, after his image, and called his name Seth. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were eight hundred years, and he begat sons and daughters. I saw the spirits of the children of men who were dead, and their voice went forth to heaven and made suit. Then I asked Raphael, the angel who was with me, and I said unto him, This spirit, who is it, whose voice goes forth and makes suit? And he answered me, saying, This is the spirit which went forth from Abel, whom his brother Cain slew, and he make his suit against him till his seed is destroyed from the face of the earth, and his seed is annihilated from amongst the seed of men. The indigenous black people alive today are the descendants to the nations in the scriptures in the Bible. All of the bloodlines and nations spoken of in the Bible, excluding the other species of mankind, are black until this day. Because Satan have changed everything, nobody looks at bloodline. Everyone determine their race and bloodline based on place of birth. If you're born in America, you're an American. The scriptures in the Bible don't mention nor acknowledge a group of people called Americans. The indigenous black people who lived in this land, the beast system labeled the Americas, are in the Bible. The scriptures refer to them as Hamites. There are many bloodlines and nations under the Hamite bloodline. Once Satan was able to use the seed of the fallen to replace the indigenous black people, he continued to imitate the Most High to deceive the whole world with his people. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. 
Today, many people are led to believe white people are indigenous to Europe. Most people believe the modern Europeans are the foundation to the land of the north. That is false. All the land in the north belongs to Japheth, the youngest son to Noah. All three of Noah's sons are black. Because many indigenous black people believe the modern people called Europeans are the children of Japheth and Esau that is occupying the lands in the north, they have been deceived. Through this belief, a great majority of people believe Esau is white. Israelites, ask yourself this question. If Esau is white, who are the modern children of the fallen angels today? If both Esau and Japheth is white, how do you know which bloodline is Esau and which is Japheth? Remember, a bloodline cannot continue without the original. By the fourth generation, the original seed is whited out. So if the Edomites procreate with the seed of the fallen and is now the white man, the Edomite bloodline no longer exists. The scripture said Edom is the end of the world. Also, the Most High said we would possess the remnant of Edom that they may possess the remnant of Edom and of all the heathen which are called by my name, saith the Lord that doeth this. The scripture is found in the second book of Ezra said that Esau is the end of the world. The people many of you say is Esau. They had dominion over the world from the days of Noah until today. Remember, the world was given into the hands of the wicked. Adam and his seed never had a chance to rule this world. When Adam and Eve fell, they lost the dominion. When the word of God became flesh and completed his mission, that is when Adam's kingdom was restored. That happened a little over 2,000 years ago. Although Adam's kingdom was restored, the white men still have dominion. When Noah was alive, Esau didn't exist in his generation. How can the same group of people that was around from the beginning obtain the legacy and culture and bloodline of Esau? With Satan deceiving many Israelites into believing the seed of the fallen or the indigenous bloodlines in the Bible is how Satan continued to deceive through duality. Because Satan had given the seed of the fallen a heritage and successfully deceived the indigenous black people to believe Japheth's bloodline as well as Esau is whited out. That is how Satan deceived many to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior and cry out to a God that don't look like them. Remember the Messiah is the image of the invisible God and so are you. Who is the image of the invisible God? the firstborn of every creature. If you're made in the image of the Most High and the Messiah is the image of the Most High, why are you accepting a white Messiah as your Lord and Savior and worshiping Jesus that proclaimed to be God the Father in the flesh? In addition, the chosen people the world have accepted to be the modern day Israelites, but they call themselves Jews. They too shared the same image with the children of the angels described in the book of Enoch. Israelites, are you starting to understand duality? In the other awakening, Israelites, the awakening is not exempt from Satan's deceptions. Satan have imitated the awakening as well and planted his disciples to uphold the doctrines of Rome in the false awakening. Remember, Satan's ministers disguise themselves as ministers of righteousness. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. In the false awakening, the Israelites who believe Esau is white, they claim the subspecies from the other species of mankind as Israelites. They say the Hispanics and European-looking Indians are Israelites, giving their heritage to another, fulfilling the scriptures. If the white European Hispanics and Indians take a DNA test, a great majority of their DNA will come from the other species of mankind. The Latinos and Hispanics in Latin America are the bastard children of the colonizers. Matter of fact, all of the nations who have the other species of mankind as the default are the children of the colonizers. Everyone know the colonizers planted their seed into the indigenous black population in the land they colonized and created the whited out population in every nation today. 
For while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. The Israelites are black until this day, just like Esau is black until this day. The people that are dominating and controlling every land in this world are the other species of mankind. Remember, by the fourth generation, they don't have any indigenous blood in their veins, making them hybrids. In every nation today, there are foundational indigenous black people that live in those lands. The media concealed them. They also grouped them together with the Israelites that were dispersed all over the world. The foundational black people that are not descendants of slaves are the true descendants of Japheth in the land of the north. Remember, Japheth would dwell in the tents of Shem. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. There is no way Japheth could dwell in the tents of Shem as a European. Shem inherited the middle of the earth. If Japheth is dwelling in the tents of Shem, who's occupying his land in the north? Satan did say in his heart that he would rule in the sides of the north. Esau also have indigenous black descendants alive today. The modern Romans, that is the head of the Roman Catholic Church and the people, the B system say are the Romans, are not Esau. They have assumed the indigenous Romans culture and history, just like the impostors who have taken our Israelite bloodline. They all have something in common. They all look like the children of the angels. None of them are made in the image of the Most High. I know thy works, and tribulation, and poverty. But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. It seems to me the Most High have marked the other species of mankind. Israelites, the Most High have to open your eyes to see the truth. If you're a part of the beast culture and becoming one with your enemies, the God of this world would blind your eyes with duality. If you read the book of Jasher, the Edomites vowed to never have another Edomite rule over them. they rather have a leader that is not of their people to rule over them. Today, the white men rule the world with Satan. Who is ruling over the white man besides Satan? No one. The white man is not Esau. And all the children of Esau swore, saying that none of their brethren should ever reign over them. But a strange man who is not of their brethren, for the souls of all the children of Esau were embittered, every man against his son, brother and friend, on account of the evil they sustained from their brethren when they fought with the children of Seir. Therefore the sons of Esau swore, saying, From that day forward they would not choose a king from their brethren, but one from a strange land unto this day. The other species of mankind resemble the Messiah that came in his own name. The same Messiah that said he is God the Father in the flesh. This Messiah God have a legion of Holy Ghost to possess the people that have accepted him as their Lord and Savior. Israelites, the Holy Spirit is one. You're the temple that housed the Holy Spirit. Satan's Holy Ghost is the imitation to the Holy Spirit. Just like Jesus is the imitation to Joshua ben Joseph the one you call Yahshua. Jesus is also the imitation to the God of Israel. The priesthood the Most High gave to the Israelites is also imitated by the Satans in religion. Israelites, know that in everything the Most High prophesied to do, Satan have an imitation to deceive and prevent you from serving the Most High. Satan wants you to bow down to him. That is how he will be like the Most High. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Satan's imitations through duality is how Satan have become like the Most High in the beast system. The only way you will see duality in the scriptures as well as in the world, the Most High have to open your eyes. The same way the Most High have to draw you to the Messiah to find him in the scriptures, the Most High has to open your eyes to see how Satan is deceiving the world with duality. Once you comprehend that Satan replaced the indigenous black people with the other species of mankind, you will be able to understand the world of duality. 
to every nation and people in this world, Satan have a whited out version. Satan used the other species of mankind to take everything away from you. The imposters who have taken our identity, the life they live don't match with the scriptures. Any person who know the truth of the Most High's words can see. The Satans continue to hide behind their falsehoods and take refuge in their lies. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. No matter how much truth exposes their lies, the other species of mankind will counter the truth with more lies and censorship. Israelites ask the Most High to expose their hiding places and expose their lies. Israelites, we truly have to separate from the beast culture to properly serve the Father in the spirit and in truth. The deceptions from the kingdom of darkness will consume you if you're not seeking the face of the Most High. When you let the Most High renew your mind, you will begin to see what is hiding in plain sight. Israelites, don't let the Satans deceive you through duality. Know who you are by knowing your origin and the God who created you. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whither they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all. And they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people, and I will be their God. 